Hey guys, welcome to this video. Um, so in this video, I'm covering uh, how to create your own events or custom events. Um, for the people that don't know what an event is, I'm just going to start up on um, Visual Basic because I have Visual Studio already running. Um, so let's create a new uh, application form, and this is going to be event. This O event tutorial host um, because event listener uh, <laughs> I don't know why I always say event listener but okay so event uh, tutorial is already uh, going to be created in this one so this is going to be just a host so for example when I double click on this form it will give me 2d code and this is actually an event and this and that means this sub is uh, going the code all is going to be activated when the event is raised uh, that's how it's called and the event is load so dot load actually so whenever um, the the form loads it will execute all this of course uh, so just to make clear what an event is so now I'm going to show you how to create your own one so I'm going back to this one and it's going to be a class library um, well it's not that important but it's kind of hard to explain when using a, a normal form so I'm going to call this one um, uh, let's do um, MSG box yes no so um, precious okay so I'm going to make this um, class when it's when you activate a function and it will ask you for something and then you can just um, you can just uh, uh, press yes or no and then um, if it's no it will raise the event no and else it will do yes so let's start off by creating a public sub that is going to be a call create message box and then here we have um, oh, by val text or input as string. Uh, oh, that's wrong. String. So um, now, before like uh, not in any kind of sub or something, just any class, I'm going to type in um, well, um, well, event. Uh, yeah, event. Um. So then something like, um, let's do um, event yes or on yes. Um, so, well, I'm go so going also to declare event on no. So, now I'm going to declare the message box. So, well, dim msg box as new message box. Oh well, let's do message because otherwise we can choose the message box. Message box. Oh, sorry. Damn. Um. Well, let's do just dim message and a message equals message box. Um, so the input is going to be or the prompt as object is going to be input on um, the buttons are of course going to be yes no um, yes no and then a uh, title is going to be nothing um, so now uh, right now um, I'm going to check if mass of the message uh, equals to something uh, message box oh well sorry uh, uh, so this is going to be checking if um, the message input is going to be um, well oh man I'm kinda well I kinda t tell you but um, well I'm not so concentrated at all actually to be honestly but um, this uh, if statement will check what the answer is to the message box so as you know then else okay so this is really easy so then ch um, 
type in race event and then in event and it's going to be automatically there so uh, this is going to be on no so race event on no because well if it's no it will execute this and otherwise it will execute this so this is going to be race event on yes so it's pretty easy actually so let's save this one and let's build it um, so at zero failed to skip so it's going to be like there um, so I'm going to close the solution right now um, well let's close this one uh, so I can open a new one in Visual Studio so open new one is going to be um, event tutorial post and present it so this uh, form I'm going to create just a button in it so when you click it it will execute that um, first we have to link the um, the DLL file to this program because this is just an all different sub and if you just execute it um, this doesn't even know you are uh, trying to interact with the dynamic link library so I'm going to project and then add re uh, add reference if you want to have more uh, detail details about uh, DLL files uh, you you probably go back to my channel and type in DLL and you will find a tutorial on that one and by the way that was not my messed up cam recorder because uh, it was loading and then you'll get these those strange things happening but okay so here you have the dialog add reference so now I'm going to go to browse I'm going to select oh no not that one it's a project and it was event tutorial uh, bin debug here we have the DLL so I'll press ok as well select it and press ok of course it's not that hard I think um, so now I'm double clicking on button and before the class starts I'm going to type in this is actually pretty easy so dim um, with events this is very important otherwise this actually won't work and then dim as event um, um uh well message message um message thing as new and then it's uh well how is the DTL uh, called I th yeah event tutorial dot message box yes no because that's what the class was uh, named but so message thing <laughs> dot create message box we have to um, call this sub first uh, let's do something like hello um so now something is going to be very important so uh, let's do this a private sub and then uh, on yes or oh wait just uh, like a message thing on score on yes um, you don't have to type it in actually it's kinda uh, easier for you when you know what kind of sub you're in and what you're, what kind of sub you're editing so on yes and now it's going to be very uh, important so you're going to type in handles and then um, I'm at no, <laughs> message thing and then dot on yes see so now I'm going to type in message box and then it's going to be you clicked yes so it's kind of stupid uh, of course this example this is just an example of course because well it's, it's going to be kind of stupid when you're going to create this in an official program so we can copy this paste it in we only have to change something so we have to change the stop on no and this event on no uh, and then also you want to change to this one damn <laughs> like that so let's check this one out uh, so it, here you see uh, here you see it's going to show you hello you can press yes no uh, here you see now I press no so you click no um, see so the the um, the, the um, 
well oh damn it uh, the uh, handles function and the event functions are working uh, right um, and the event is going to be raised right because otherwise you don't see something like you clicked and then yes or no um, so yeah it's actually pretty basic this you can also make yeah I don't know <laughs> uh, just come up with some ideas or something um, so yeah uh, this was my video about uh, custom events uh, feel free to comment rate subscribe or email me uh, my email address is at the video of description um, and thanks again well I'll catch you later I think so thanks again and well bye <laughs>